Let's start by defining our custom event emitter class. The constructor initializes an empty object called events which will store our event listeners. Next, we have the on method. This method checks if the specified event already has listeners by checking the event's object. If it does not exist, an empty array is created. The listener function provided as an argument is then added to the array associated with the event. The emit method is used to trigger an event. It retrieves the array of listeners for the given event and, if such an array exists, it iterates over the listeners, calling each one with the provided arguments. This is how events are propagated to their listeners. Lastly, we have the off method. This method allows the removal of specific event listeners. It filters the array of listeners associated with the event, removing the listener that needs to be unsubscribed. It achieves this by creating a new array without the listener that matches the function provided. Let's see an example of how to use our event emitter. We start by creating an instance of our event emitter class. Here we define a listener function called greet that logs a greeting message. We then register this function as a listener for the greeting event using the on method. Using the emit method, we can now trigger the greeting event and pass Alice as an argument to our greet function. This will output hello, Alice, in the console. If we decide to stop listening to the greeting event for the greet function, we use the off method to remove it. After this call, emitting the greeting event will no longer invoke the greet function, as confirmed by no output on the second emit call. 